Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Tuesday the 9th of May today and um, I have just started my morning, Dean, um, and I had eggs on toast for breakfast. He's gone off to work and I have spent some time replying to your comments on the uh, house building vlogs and I've just done my makeup, dried my hair, straightened my hair and um, we also have like so many boxes to like still put away so we um, went into the garage and just like put the random stuff like in the relevant places <laughs> like these boxes in here and, and everything like that so that I can put them away today um, there's still so much work that needs to go on like it's just it's rather overwhelming um, last night we went to Kmart and I got like a few little um, like these container like storage things um, hey Cokes and like in here to put in here kind of thing so yeah and I also got some some ones from up there as well today we have at some point um, getting some curtains installed so the drapes in the front rooms and the other ones but I don't think the shutters are coming in so um, I can't remember if it was at 9 30 or 3 30 that they're coming I feel like it might be 9.30. It's about half past eight at the moment. So I am just gonna hang around and put some stuff away, tidy up until nine and then call the curtain place and just make sure that they're coming at 9.30. Um, we also need to go to Ikea. So hopefully they come in the morning and then in the afternoon we can go to Ikea because I need to sort out that makeup room. I need some storage. It's so bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. I feel like I kind of can't do anything until I get that storage this little girl I am so freaking proud of her like last time when we moved see, she was so anxious you can do your roll do you? and it took her like about two good months to settle in at the last place the first night that we had her here well the first night that we stayed here and um, we went and got her and just kind of like locked her in this area which is our bedroom ensuite and the robe and she just stayed in here overnight and in the morning we were out and she um, she explored a little bit. Can you not scratch that, please? And um, she kind of just came back to here always. Like, this is her safe zone, I think. And so she'd wander out, and then she'd come back in, and, and now she just, like, wanders out. You can tell, like, she's not fully confident, but, like, th the third day in, she was doing her roles. You know, like, it wasn't like that in the last house. She was so scared and, and everything. And I feel like she's so much more confident in this house, which is a good thing. Maybe she knows, I don't know. She's more confident when we're around, like, around with her, like, in the house kind of thing. Um, yeah, she doesn't really like it when we leave. So I don't know how she's going to go when I have to go to work all day. <laughs> she might get, like, a bit scared. Um oh well she'll just have to deal with it and yeah i've still got a bit of work to do in this room as i was saying yesterday um before i can put the organizing my closet video up um but i have to edit episode did you just hit me with your tail missy i have to edit episode stop doing that i have to edit the um episode the last house episode episode six and also the empty house tour today because they're going up tomorrow which is really exciting. Um, the camera battery is flashing, but I'm gonna get started on putting some stuff away. You're so good, Koki. I love you. Okay, so the curtain guys are here right now installing the blinds. This is what we're getting in the main room. So I've got the curtain right here, and then the drapes there, and the shears. And here's a before, and here's a before of here. Okay, so the curtains are all installed and um, I was actually just trying to style the little table that we have in our bedroom and there's a pink vase that I showed in my um, home decor haul. I don't know where it is. There's a few things that I just don't know where they are. So it's really frustrating, but I'll show you the curtains. Um, so I know you can't see anything at all. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better um, but yeah there's the curtains I was taking such a gamble going with these chrome rods but I love how they look I think they look amazing and here is the bedroom so they're just like the same 
drapes in these rooms but they look so good I love them <laughs> so yeah I was just trying to style this table here but um, yeah there's some things I can't find <laughs> hey guys it's Wednesday 10th of May funny story yesterday <laughs> the vlog camera went dead didn't know where the charger was so I found it this morning and I've charged it all up and so we are ready to vlog again um but yesterday we went to ikea and we went to um ikea richmond because that's the closest one to us and um i went with the intention of buying these drawers for my beauty room called cullen and when we got there they didn't have the ones on display that i wanted to get and they had like a taller set and they were terrible like the quality was so bad so i tested out the mom and i'm like yeah like these will do. I'll get these ones. Then we went to go get them in the section and there weren't any there and I asked and he's like, oh yeah, I'll just check when they're next in. And he said, for some reason, like we're changing supplier or something has changed. They're still going to be the same product, but they won't be in until like the middle of next month. And I'm like, what? We've come all this way and I can't even get them and I need them to set up my room. I didn't say this to him, but I'm thinking this in my head. And then he checked um, the other store in Springvale and they had 53 of them. <sighs> so we had to go all the way to Springvale, which actually wasn't too far. It was only like 20 minute drive and it was like around six o'clock or seven o'clock at night. So it wasn't too bad, um, but it was just annoying how we had to go somewhere else to get them. <laughs> um, so we got three sets of the drawers and I did a bunch of Ikea shopping. So I might film an Ikea haul maybe tomorrow or something. Then today the plumber just came because we've got like this issue with the tap, um, but he's figured out what it is and it's something in relation back to our builder now. <laughs> it's like the hole isn't big enough for the thing to go through or something. Um, so I've waited around for that. Um, and it's nearly 11 and I'm getting my hair done at 1 because I have some serious regrowth going on. So I can't wait to do that but I need to go to the shops and um, I need to go back to Kmart because I bought like a, a I really really wanted this um, where did I put it actually? I really wanted this quilt set which like I showed in a previous vlog and they had it in a double because I wanted it for our double bed but of course when I checked the double bed it has a queen quilt on it so i had to take that back i have to get a few baskets for the storage a storage for the storage for the closet and i need to go to spotlight to get some materials to do the drawer inserts i still need to do all this stuff like i just am not getting stuff done this week and it's really really annoying me so i just got my hair done and i need to go fix up my makeup don't you love that when you get your hair done Makeup just washes off. <laughs> okay, so I had a bit off of my hair, you can see, but it's really, really healthy. And um, it's a bit lighter, but it does, like the toner comes out, it washes out. So I just love it. Cookie loves it too. <laughs> I forgot to, to take the camera with me. I went to Kmart. I got, look at this little girl. Hello. Hello. I'll show you what I got actually. I wanted to, ugh, I didn't get enough ticked off my bar, off my list today. Where to put my list? So I found the vlog charger, I did that. I went to Kmart and got the baskets. I need to move my makeup because this is bad lighting. Um, still bad lighting. Because I've decided I want the middle filming room <laughs> because of the background issue. <laughs> because in, I'll show you. So if I film in this room, I have that as my background if I use the natural lighting, unless I were to switch sides, but I've talked about this before, like just the other day. The other option is if I film in this middle room, right? And I have that as my like natural light and then use, this as my background, but put up those Ikea shelves that I've got and put them there. I do have the blinds down a little bit. Natural lighting. Just as good. Like seriously, it's just as good here, so. What do you think, Hoax? What do you think? I need to move all of the makeup stuff that I've got in the other room into the lounge room and then we move all of this stuff into the other room. 
So that, I didn't get that done today. And the reason why I had a clothes horse in there is because the drying cupboard was full of like towels. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get that done. I needed to edit the empty house tour, which I didn't get done. Um, I finished episode six and uploaded that. Um, I was meant to make an Instagram post of the house, but now I feel like the lighting is just, although that looks really cool, but I've got that mirror behind there. I don't know, I, I don't know where I was gonna do it. I haven't decided yet. I had to reply to two emails and I replied to one of them. Um, I went to Spotlight and I got some frames. I had to refilm the bathroom in there because for the empty house tour, because when, <laughs> when we came, um, when I came to film the empty house tour, it was in the morning and there were people here setting up and they put up new mirrors in the bathroom over the old ones and they hadn't cleaned them yet. So I needed to refilm the bathrooms because like the, and they had, they're on little stands. So I needed to refilm that for the empty house tour, which I've done today. And then I'm meant to iron the table runner, which I've been meaning to do and I haven't done it. So I will show you what I got at Kmart. So these were the baskets I was talking about. I'm gonna put them in the closet. Um, I got some board for the, um, jewelry dividers. Oh, I got a hot glue gun because I lent mine to my friend, but um, I haven't got it back yet. So I just bought some hot glue gun and some things. But guys, this is, oh, should I show you? It's like a Kmart styling hack. So I'm not going to show you because it will ruin my Kmart hack. But I don't know when that's going to be out. But anyway. Um, and then I got these photo frames from um, Spotlight. These were like 17 bucks each. I'm going to put them above the bed because last night when we went to Ikea, I wanted to get the photo frames that they had there, the square ones, but oh, I've got a hair, but the white ones were like a cream and I, I didn't want that. I wanted like a white or a black and they didn't have them in black. So I didn't like them. So I, I got these ones instead and then I'm going to put black and white photos in them. I got the fabric for the drawer dividers. I got this, uh, is it velveteen? It's like the stiff kind of velvet, if you know what I mean. Cause I looked at the velvet and I'm like, mm, it's okay, but, and then the lady pointed this out. And I'm like, that's what I want. Um, so, and I got this and I got this Misa, this little Siamese cat, picked her up on the side of the road. And then I got this little pink vase for like my roses, I think. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, Cox. What do you reckon? Yeah, I love you. You're a good girl. But Dean should be home any minute, and I want to edit um, the empty house vlog so I can get that up tomorrow, hopefully. I love these curtains. These are amazing. Highly recommend getting, like, oh, I hate it how it does that, how, um, how the light changes. I would highly recommend getting, like, the silver. Um... Yeah, the chrome or the bar or whatever. Um, because they're just like, they're not ones that you drag across. They've got like the pull bit. Like the, um, like this. They've still got this. And you just pull them across. But I think that looks so nice. And I'm so glad we went with the sheer curtains as well. Because we weren't going to. But I think it looks really nice. I know it's so hard to see. This lighting is so shit like this. I need to put lights on it so you can see it. <laughs> Look at my fam. Look how cute they are. Look at Kagi. Having cuddles on the bed. What are we going to do tonight? Uh, probably get some shizen done around the house. Some shizen. And then... Um... <gasps> so cold. I just yeah. put the heater up. No, we'll just, yeah, do some stuff around the house, eat some tea, and, um, mm -mm -mm. kill Kogi. How do you feel about the pink bedding? Yeah, oh, it matches the house, curtains, pink and grey, go together, don't You it? like the curtains, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've always been a fan of pink, I'm a pink man. We need to get a new, like, nice clock, if you know of any, like, nice ones let me know because that one is from Kmart and it's I don't even know how old probably like 15 years old you should get a pink clock <laughs> I don't want a pink one I want like a chrome one or a white one or like a good looking black one yeah probably find a good looking black one out of all look at Coco things. she looks really confused all right we gotta get up and do some stuff okay I've got an issue 
So you know that frame that I showed you in the hall that had this pick in it that I'm not so much a fan of? Well, I bought this frame from York, this print from Yorkley Prints. However, let me just put this shit down. Oh, look at that, it fits really great. Oh, it doesn't. It's not long enough. So I've got a couple of prints, so I'm gonna take this one and just trim it down, which is really annoying, but I figure if I can just like trim it down, um, it'll fit. So it's like the same size as it now, it's actually a bit bigger. So if I just trim it like that, <laughs> this is going to be a massive fail, isn't it? And the worst thing about this is the mat board is like full on stuck to the, the thing. This whole thing has just been a disaster. So guys, just in future, <laughs> buy the frames, don't buy art already made. <laughs> I kind of have to laugh. This is how I'm chopping the picture up. I have an old cookbook and a craft knife and I'm using the back of the old picture to uh, to cut it up. <laughs> oh, I didn't do a good job. <laughs> okay, so I didn't do an amazing job, um, but far away, you can't tell, right? But if you look closely, it looks terrible or rather it does. And you can kind of see some gold popping through that. Um, but I think I was going to put this over here. But I think considering I have to look at it every day, I'll put it somewhere else. <laughs> um, maybe like in a spare bedroom. It'll look really nice. Or in my beauty room. that would look cool there. And then what I'll do is I'll get uh, the right size frame for this one. So I think this is, is this an A1. I'll have to measure it and go, look at my nails. They are disgusting. Don't look at them. Um, I'll have to measure it and go get a new frame for this tomorrow. Look at this. Like I've got so many of these peeny pictures everywhere. Everyone will think that they're the same, but they're not. I deliberately got different ones. <laughs> How'd you go? Yeah, got the bins. Got them all set up. Cool. And you did the towel yeah, rail? Towel you want to show them your masterpiece? Well, a couple of screws, you know. That'll be alright. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Straight off. Nah, she's right. Swing. I've still got all those shit boxes in there. They need to go. And our makeshift curtain. Put that up myself. Yeah, cool. So I'm now a qualified curtain installer. Yeah. Are these water bottles? These are yours, obviously. Uh, your side of the bed. Yeah. 